Hello, welcome back. Today, I will talk about the approaches for gastroretentive drug delivery system. In my previous video, I have already explained about what is gastroretentive drug delivery system, what are its various advantages, limitations, appropriate candidate for gastroretentive drug delivery system, and also about the factors that are affecting gastroretentive drug delivery system so today we will talk about the different approaches so there are different different approaches for example high density system low density system bioadhesive system swelling system super porous hydrogels expandable system ion exchange resin system raft forming system so all these are the approaches of gastroretentive drug delivery system which I will be explaining in detail in the further slides. So gastroretentive drug delivery system is divided on the basis of density in two types floating system and non-floating system. Obviously the floating will be those drugs or formulations which are having low density system and non-floating one will be high density system. In case of floating systems, there are several formulations, several systems, for example, effervescent and non-effervescent systems. In effervescent system, it is further classified in many types like volatile liquid containing system, gas generating system and matrix tablets. In case of volatile liquid containing system, it is of further types, intragastric floating gastrointestinal drug delivery system, inflantable gastrointestinal drug delivery system, intragastric osmotically controlled drug delivery system. In case of gas generating system, it is of different types like floating system with iron exchange resin, another is floating capsules and floating pills. In case of non-effervescent system, it consists of various types like HBS, micro balloons, my, hollow microspheres, alginate beads and layer tablets. In layer tablet, it is single layer tablet and bilayer tablet. Now talking about non-floating system, that is high density system. It is further of many types like bioadhesive systems, magnetic systems, high density systems. Size increasing systems, raft forming systems. In size increasing systems, it is further classified in three types. Swelling system, expandable system, flow, unfolding and modified system. So all these are the approaches of gastroretentive drug delivery system. Now we will discuss them one by one. First is high density drug delivery system. So in this approach, the formulations are prepared by coating drug on a heavy core or mixed with inert substances such as iron powder, barium sulfate, zinc oxide. Why we are doing so? Why we are coating it? To make the dense, to increase the density. So, this material increases the density up to 1.5 to 2.4 grams per centimeter cube. So, depending upon the density, the gastrointestinal transit time of pellets can be extended from an average of 5.8 hours to 25 hours. So, we can increase the gastric time up to this much extent. But effectiveness of this system in human beings was not observed and no formulation has been marketed up to now. So in market there are available, gastrointestinal drug delivery systems are available but only in case of low density, floating formulations are available. The high density systems are not yet available in the market. So as you can see here in the diagram also, high density system it will retain inside the stomach. 
Now, the another one is floating drug delivery system. These have a bulk density lower than the gastric content. They remain buoyant in the stomach for a prolonged period of time. With the potential of continuous release of drug, they include HBS, gas generating systems, volatile liquid, vacuum containing system, raft forming systems and low density system. So all these comes under floating drug delivery. Now gas generating system. What is happening in gas generating system? You can see here in the diagram. The, there is the formulation and the water will get penetrate and there is the release of carbon dioxide and finally the drug diffuses. So carbonates or bicarbonate with, which react with gastric acid or other acid for example citric or tartric present in the formulation to produce carbon dioxide are usually incorporated in the dosage form thus reducing the density of the system and making it float on the media. So what we are doing here we are just incorporating some acids like citric acid, tartaric acid and it will produce carbon dioxide and with this production the density of the system will reduce and it will come on the floating system. Now the another one is matrix tablets. Now single layer matrix tablet is prepared by incorporating bicarbonates in matrix forming hydrocolloid gelling agent like HPMC, chitosan, alginate or other polymers and drugs. In the matrix tablet, bilayer and triple layer tablet is also prepared. In case of bilayer tablet, one layer is incorporated with gas generating matrix and another layer is incorporated with the drug with sustained release effect. In case of triple layer tablet, the first swellable floating layer with bicarbonates, second one with, will be with the sustained release of the drug and third one will be the dissolving layer of bismuth salt. See here, you can see here in the diagram also, it is triple layer matrix tablet. The first layer is gas generating layer, another one is drug controlling layer and the third one is rapid dissolving layer. Now, the another approach is inflatable gastrointestinal delivery. In this system, is incorporated with an inflatable chamber which contains liquid ether that gasifies at body temperature to cause the chamber to inflate in the stomach. See here, you can see here in the diagram also, it contains an inflatable chamber which is inside the capsule and there is the presence of a drug reservoir also. Inflatable chamber is located with a drug reservoir which can be a drug impregnated polymeric and then encapsulated in a gelatin capsule. Now the another approach is intragastric osm osmotically controlled drug delivery system comprises of both an osmotic pressure controlled drug delivery device and as well as inflatable floating support in a biodegradable capsule. So this contains two approaches. One is it is containing osmotic pressure control device also and also the inflatable floating support system. In stomach, the capsule quickly disintegrates and releases the intragastric osmotically controlled drug delivery devices. Inflatable support forms a deforming hollow polymeric bag containing liquid that gasifies at body temperature to inflate the bag. It consists of two compartments as I told you earlier drug reservoir osmotically active compartment.